Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for Game of Thrones. This one is going to be doing my weekly review of this week's episode of Game of Thrones Season 8. This one's going to be for Game of Thrones Season 8, Episode 2, which uh, I do believe is called The Night of the Seven Kingdoms. But I, I could be totally wrong about that, but I've heard that name, and I don't know what it is with Game of Thrones. They just haven't been uh, releasing the names for the episodes until after they are uh, after the episodes are released. So, um, pretty interesting decision that they do that, but I, I think it's actually for the best to uh, just to kind of keep uh, spoilers um, to themselves until of course the last moment when we do see at uh, the end of uh, the series but uh, I am super excited to see episode three next week especially that promo so uh, let's discuss episode two I want to get into episode two because this was a really really cool episode uh, this was mainly a setup episode but we did get a lot of stuff in the episode that I did like to see so next week I think is going to be the big one next week's going to be uh, the attack for, uh, with of course the white walkers against uh, Winterfell with all of our uh, survivors pretty much in the same spot except for uh, Cersei kind of off at uh, King's Landing right now with uh, the mountain and tons of other characters like that. Um, but most of the cast is at Winterfell right now ready to fight the White Walkers and I really like how Tyrion said in this episode he's like once uh, once uh, one time or another we were all fighting against the Starks now we're fighting for the Starks you know so and, and I do like that too and it is a pretty cool comparison you know compared to some of the early uh, earlier seasons where um People like Jamie Lannister and Brienne and, you know, the Hound, and they were all on uh, the Lannister side, and now look at how far they've come, you know? So, yeah, that's really, really cool. Now, in terms of this episode, uh, you know, I think a lot of people, I've seen some mixed reviews about this one. Some people like it, some people don't. I personally really do like this episode. Uh, it is a bit of a, you know, a slower episode than, you know, some of the other ones we're used to, but... Definitely next week, I think, is going to be a huge episode for the series, and I'm super excited to see how it goes. So, uh, in terms of this episode, I want to kind of get started with the review. Uh, you know, I think definitely, you know, with the beginning of this episode, I really like how, uh, you know, you have Jamie there, and they're about to kill him. You know, you can tell they want to kill him. And then how Brienne kind of, um, you know, uh, she almost, you know, she, she, she basically says that she would die for him, which, um, it's pretty cool. And of course, we understand why. I mean, Jamie Lannister pretty much lost his hand a few seasons ago for her. So actually, quite a few seasons ago now. I think that was like, what, season three? Like early season three when he lost his hand. So, uh, you know, I do believe uh, I've only seen the show once over. So, yeah. Um, but I, I definitely, though, the one thing I will say is that I, I am very impressed with Brienne in this one for kind of, uh, you know, uh, defending Jamie because she's pretty much the only one that is. You know, Tyrion tried, but then Daenerys kind of got mad at him, which also is an Another thing, and I really like how uh, you know, um, you know, he's like, uh, I know my brother, and uh, you know, and you know, uh, you know, Daenerys is like, uh, yeah, and you knew your sister, and we all know how that turned out, you know. So, um, basically, Jamie is allowed to join, and that's pretty much what happens. And I, I am a, a big fan of that because you know, a lot of people, you know, that's at Winterfell right now, the majority of them, they don't trust them, but uh, you know, they like Jon Snow says, we need as many people as we can get. So. Um, and plus, Jamie Lannister on their side is a really good advantage because he's a really good fighter. Yes, he only has one hand now, you know, of course. Uh, so, you know, he can't, uh, you know, fight with, uh, you know, his right hand. But, um... He can still defend the group, and he can still fight for them, and he can still um, maybe help them win against the White Walkers, you know, as much as he can. So, I really like that, and I am a really big fan of this episode when it comes to uh, Jamie and all the stuff that goes on with him and Brienne, and of course, uh, some of the stuff uh, later on in the episode with uh, him and Tyrion and Ser Davos and Tormund and stuff, but uh, we'll, we'll get there. So, then of course, uh, another point I want to kind of talk about too is that there is a lot of stuff going on in the camp in this one. I, I might miss a few things, but um, in terms of everything, in terms of the dialogue and everything, I loved it. it. It was really, really cool. We saw Sir Davos there for a few minutes. We saw, uh, you know, a couple of um, quick scenes with uh, John and the others kind of uh, getting ready and figuring out what they're going to do. Uh, of course, uh, Bran also uh, kind of uh, knowing that the Night King is coming for him. And honestly, I, I think, honestly, Bran does know more than uh, what he's telling everybody about the White Walkers. So we're going to have to see what happens, of course, in Episode 3 with Bran and the Night King kind of coming for him. And, of course, uh, the Night King does have one of Cersei's, or, or not Cersei's, uh, Daenerys' dragons. So we're going to have to see how that works out. And, of course, uh, we see the dragon in the promo for next week. So uh, just a little bit, just 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 a little bit. So, yeah, really excited, uh, really excited uh, to uh, see, uh, you know, just everything that we see with the, uh, the dragon, the White Walkers, and the battle next episode. Like I said, this is mainly a setup episode, but, you know, it really was an awesome episode, uh, you know, nevertheless. So, 
We also get to see Jamie Lannister and Bran talk just quickly about uh, what happened in the uh, pilot of the series where he pushes him out of the window, of course, if you guys don't remember. Uh, now, I really do like that conversation and, uh, you know, I like too how when they were in the room uh, with uh, Jamie at the beginning, he's like, I would do it all again. Everything I did, I would do it all again. And I, I, I actually like that because it's like, you know... Jamie Lannister, even though he's joining the Starks, it doesn't mean that he's not still the same guy, you know, and, and I, I kind of like that as well. It's like he's not a totally different person now just because he's joining the other group. Um, so that's pretty cool, too. And I, I really like, too, where, uh, you know, he's just like, um, you know, you're not mad at me, you know, and, 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 and Bran's just like, well, you know, we'll, we'll see. But, you know, uh, for right now, like, you know, he's letting him join the battle with the White Walkers. But, of course, I like how they, you know, they were talking about what about after, you know. So I, I really, I, as much as I don't want to you know, say it, and I know a lot of people might disagree with me, and we're going to have to see if I'm right for sure. There's only four episodes left of the series, but... I personally am really starting to think that we might see the death of Jamie this season. And I really actually think that they might kill him. I, I think after this battle, they could kill him. Someone might decide to kill him. You know how this show goes. And honestly, I I personally think we could see the death of Jamie this season, even though I don't want to see it, because he's one of my favorite characters, if I'm being 100% honest. I really think that the story is heading in that direction. And as like I said, as, as much as I don't like it, um, I see it. I see it coming from a, a, a really far uh, point. Because honestly, Jamie Lannister is a character that, you know, yes, even though, you know, he's done a lot throughout the series, he also has a good side to him too. You know, we're, we're seeing a lot more of that now. But honestly, with the whole thing with Bran, I just don't think everybody's going to let that slide. I feel like even Jon doesn't really want to keep him alive. He's like, we need all the hell, uh, the fight, you know, fighters we can get. But after the White Walkers, and if they do win, whoever's left after this insane battle next week in episode four, five, and six, um, honestly, I see someone killing Jamie Lannister. I really do. Um, and I honestly wouldn't be surprised if it was either uh, Bran that kind of ordered it to happen, or if it was uh, Daenerys, because Daenerys doesn't seem like she wants him there either. So, um, I don't know. It just, you know how this show goes, and I really, even though, like I said, I don't want to see Jaime Lannister die, I see it happening, and I, I really see it happening more and more and more as the episodes go on. So, uh, just my thoughts on the situation, though. Just That's just my thoughts on it. But, of course, you know, you know we're all entitled to our opinions. So, uh, in terms of that, that was really cool, and I really like, too, where they're all drinking wine, too, in that scene. Uh, and, of course, you have the stuff with Brienne and Jamie, which is also really cool as well. Uh, we have, uh, you know, uh, Tyrion. We saw a lot of him this episode, too. Uh, Daenerys is pretty disappointed in him, but, uh, you know, uh, he's still hand of the queen, though, it seems like and we basically see everybody getting ready for uh, for basically the battle. We have uh, Arya uh, with uh, that one dude, I forget his name, uh, but, uh, you know, she kind of gets with him, of course, so that was also cool. You know, I don't think we've ever seen Arya actually, uh, you, know, get, get, you know, get together with someone in the show, so, yeah, that was... Um, that was okay, and then of course, just more dialogue scenes, kind of getting ready for this uh, this insane battle next week, which just looks absolutely amazing. And uh, you know, just like I said, more dialogue, more stuff in Winterfell, and uh, stuff that you know I think uh, I really enjoyed. But I won't go into too much because there wasn't too much aside from the stuff I already pointed out. So uh, I do like this episode; it's a really good episode, and of course, the Night King and the White Walkers are there at the end, which I I'm super excited for. But really. This episode was great, and I did like it, but honestly, next week is really what I'm, I'm really looking forward to. Now, we're going to have to see if the whole battle is, like, all next week, or if it somehow spills into four or something. I tend to think it won't, because I feel like episode four, five, and six will be something related to Cersei, and maybe her actually uh, putting up a fight against Jon and the others. Uh, I like the worst time, and I just, I'm really excited for these last four episodes, man. Maybe the White Walkers, their story will end this next episode, or maybe four or five, something like that. Like that um or maybe the white walkers will last until the series finale somehow so i don't know but I'm, i really tend to think next week we're gonna see some deaths and that's why we see so many characters um and some dialogue scenes between everybody's because we're getting to spend time maybe maybe the last couple scenes with some of these big characters because i really feel like next week and maybe the week after that too uh we're gonna see some big deaths and honestly whether it's john which i hate saying or Daenerys, or... I I don't think Tyrion's gonna die, though. I just... I don't think he's gonna die. I don't see that happening. I just don't see them killing Tyrion. Um, if there's one character, I just don't see them killing Tyrion at all. Um, and also, you know, some of the others, like, uh, you know, Sam... 
and the Hound, and, uh, well, actually, the Hound, I honestly, I think it'd be pretty cool to see him survive, but, of course, we all know how this show goes, so, um, in terms of this episode, in terms of, uh, you know, episode two, I'm going to give this a uh, an 8 out of 10. You know, I think it's a really, really good episode. I'm going to put this as a good episode on my uh, my rating uh, list, of course, for Dan's Reviews. You guys know how it goes. Bad episode, uh, you know, okay episode, good episode, and great episode. This is a good episode for me. I really like this episode a lot. Uh, what do you guys think out of 10, or do you think it's, uh, uh, in terms of the Dan's Reviews uh, rating scale, uh, do you guys think it's a bad episode, okay episode, good episode, or great episode? Write that down in the comment section below. And, uh, also, every week, too, I'm going to be doing this. I, I, I did this for a couple weeks to the Walking Dead episode, so I'm going to do it for this one, too, for the end of the video. Uh, in terms of, uh, it, I know it's Walking Dead type of related, but uh, what was your favorite part of this episode? Uh, who was your favorite character from this episode that you enjoyed watching the most, and why? You know, so you guys, you guys see what I'm doing there. So yeah, uh, in terms of that, uh, for me to answer that question, uh, what was my favorite part of this episode? Probably the end, you know, with the Night King. I, I really like that and some of the dialogue scenes, but uh, specifically, um, Really getting me excited for next week's uh, episode and stuff, and I, I, I really enjoyed it. Also, just some of the stuff with uh, Jamie and stuff was really, really cool. Uh, and then my favorite character from the episode would definitely be Jamie. I really enjoyed seeing him in this episode. You got a lot of time, and yeah, for sure, uh, you know, and why is mainly because I just feel like, honestly, Jamie Lannister, I just think he's gonna die, and I, I really don't want to see it, but I just... I feel like it's going to happen, and I'm, I'm going to be devastated when it does. So, uh, anyway, write your comments in the comment section below. Episode 3 predictions coming up really soon. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.